Hi, I'm Rosie, and I will be teaching you about formulas for sequencing. The first two things that you need to know are that A is the value of term. It represents the number that you want to find, and N is the number of term. It represents the number you are multiplying. In other words, where the A is located, that is where your answer will be, and where the N is located, you will find whatever term you need, and you will fill it, fill it in there. If you want to find the third term in a sequence, for example, wherever the letter N is, you would put the number 3. Your answer for the sequence after solving it all will go where the letter A is. So, here is an example of the table. Let's say that we want to find five answers. So, we'd write a 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 next to the N row because those are the five that we will multiply by. And then, let's say in this example, we're going to multiply by three every time. So, for the first one, one times three is three. So, you would write the three in the A row under the one because one times three equals three. Next, two times three is six. So, you would write a six there because two times three equals six. Then, three times three is nine. 4 times 3 is 12, and 5 times 3 is 15. What is the formula of this? Well, we, first to figure this out, we look at our table. We multiplied n by 3 each time, so a to the n equals 3n or 3 times n because we are multiplying our number of term by 3 each time. Next problem, a to the n equals 2 times n. To find the 20th term in the sequence. Well, we know that a is where our answer will be, and n is where we substitute our number we are multiplying by. So we need to find the 20th term. So our new formula would be a to the 20 equals 2 times 20. The answer would be, well, 20 times 2 equals 40. So your answer would be 40. And to check this, you could do 40 divided by 2 equals 20, which is the term we originally started with. 